Hello, this is Guy, and this is my first YouTube Let's Play. I'll be playing the game called Kenshi, and this will be focused on role-playing. Um, excuse the bad microphone quality. It, it was just something like, it was, some, it was just something I felt like doing. Um, that it could be fun to play Kenshi with some old school role playing um, elements. Um, yeah, you'll see what I mean once I start playing. But yeah, this game is very exciting for me, and yeah, I will probably put some cuts within the footage because. Um, yeah, some parts might be a little bit slow-paced in this, within this game. Um, and I'm also a beginner, so I might mess up. <laughs> okay. Um, just really quick, a few rules. I will... I will really focus on role-playing. And... Still, if if something goes wrong, if there are any problems, I will I will try to keep the game going as long as possible. Uh, the let's play might end if uh, everyone dies. Still not sure. Let's see how I do that. All right, that was a long intro. Let's go for it. New game. I've played a little bit of the first of the basics of the game, so Wanderer is not completely strange to me, which I think is actually good for a let's play. But yeah, I'll start with some cash and just one person. Yeah, Lone Wanderer with nothing but a few coins, a pair of pants, and a rusty sword, ready to venture out into the world. I don't. This is the way the game is supposed to play. I think that's what's supposed to be there, but it doesn't show at all for some reason. Anyway, let's go. Alright, so here we are in the character creation screen. I've set up everything. Um, This is Gibbs. He looks a bit beaten up. Pretty raggedy. Um, so yeah, it fits his backstory. We'll go that, into that in a while. Uh, just real quick, he is a human Greenlander, male. And the race description um, basically justifies the race stats. Um, Alright, let's, let's read it. Primarily from farmer cultures, they, humans, still tend to be an aggressive race, and are easily led astray. The worst of them live in ignorance, knowing only greed and fear, reacting to anything different, hatred and violence. But the best of them are some of the greatest civilized scientists, engineers and warriors in the land. So, yeah. We get bonus in farming, cooking, and science, 20%. If I'm not mistaken, this is how fast um, he will learn these skills. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Mm. Let's start the game, right? Everything seems to be fine. Let's go. Alright, everyone. This is Gibbs. And he isn't feeling too great right now. It's the middle of the night, he just woke up to puke into that not so fancy outhouse, but. <sighs> He's not feeling that great. He's, his last months were hazy, to say the least. Honestly, he can't really remember how he got here. He has bits and pieces 
He knows it's in the desert. But... The bottle has been his friend way too many times. Sometimes his only friend. Gambling and pickpocketing. Has ultimately led him here. He feels quite broken. He feels like his stomach is a bit empty, but he really doesn't feel like eating. And this is where our story starts. So yeah, everyone, um, I, oh, don't be rude, lady. <laughs> this is more or less the style. I might sometimes talk in his, um, uh, from his point of view, and anyone else who might join him. Um, but yeah, part of it will be just me playing. Alright, let's start it then. Okay, so for everybody that's for everybody that's new to the game, I am using a few mods, so this is not completely the vanilla experience. Um, but yeah, this game is really a lot of fun, especially when you put in a few mods. Um, yeah, so there's like health here. And you can see that this hunger is going down. Alright, you have an inventory. I started him with this stuff. This is pre-prepared. But not a lot of things. He has a bit of money. 829 cats. That's the currency. Cats. Funny name. <laughs> and right now the morning is coming. Yeah, his stats are pretty standard, level 1 on everything basically, and the same on his skills, with the exception of athletics. <laughs> basically that means that while setting up everything he ran a lot, he ran around a bit. But yeah... Kenshi is basically a game that has no um, linear, predefined main story. You make up the story that you want. And yeah, I've started with that backstory. I don't know where the story will go, but let's see what happens. So, Gibbs was feeling just bad, and that sun coming up. Not great. Oof. He's definitely not learning. He's just... Oh, it's a bar, but... You know, a place where you might just sit down a bit. Nobody seems to look to him too much, which is the best. Whew. It's quite silent in here, not a lot of people talking too loudly, which is perfect for him. Just looks around for a bit. So, um, in the game, when you click, you can get some information. And I'm assuming, you know, this is kind of like stuff he can pick up from seeing people. These guys are pretty close by, so it makes sense that he can actually learn a bit about who's around him. So he sees uh, somebody who looks like a troublemaker. Somebody who would probably entice to gambling last week. That's not who he wants to be anymore. Actually, the beginning of this story is a point where he... Somehow in the middle of all that confusion and chaos, he, he just knew that he had been lucky a few times in a row, but he wouldn't stay lucky forever, and he would become a slave. 
or get killed if you keep if you kept this if you kept going on this path. So he decided he wanted to stop drinking and change something. He didn't didn't know too much what it was, just that stealing, gambling and drinking were not good for him. So yeah, he wouldn't go talk to the bar thug. Bar thug. There were some mercenaries around. Somebody who seemed to have been traveling quite a bit lately. Trade ninjas. He saw some signs that this place was theirs. barman and he heard a bit of the conversation on the table next to him. It seems like there was a person there that was a diplomat of some kind. Hmm. And he was at a table with the bar thug. That seemed weird. Alright, some mercenaries, some trade ninjas. And some people that were traveling recently, just like him. Whew. Oh, he needed to drink something. Okay. Not don't no alcohol. Let's just look for some water. Show me your goods. All right, this is our shop is in Kenji. Let's see. What is it there? Okay. <laughs> Weapons. That's probably very expensive, right? That's 1000 cats. Nope. Okay, some rum. Some food. And a whole barrel of water. <laughs> okay. He has a few bandages on him and some dried meat, okay. He wanted something to drink, this is grog, dang. Yeah. Okay, let's say that he gets some water for the merchant. Let's put in some flexibility, just a bit. Alright, other than that, he has a bit of food, there's nothing else here that he feels like eating right now. Huh? <laughs> Actually, I think in-game he already ate something. Huh. Looks like it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, he ate something light, but he's still wounded stomach. Maybe actually that rice could look good for the next meal. The dried meat is... he could save it for later. Alright, so how much is it? 169. Oof, that's expensive. Money actually becomes a problem really quickly at the beginning. You're just trying to get something to eat. <laughs> By the way, um... My level of experience with this game is quite limited. I just played a bit of the beginning. Alright. Excuse me if I don't follow the lore completely then. Basically this is mostly a blind playthrough and I'm trying to just use the information that I have. Alright, the rest is laying around but I guess it already has an owner spoken to. It's already spoken to somebody. Okay, can you go up? Is that okay? Let's 
seems like it. Oh! What? That's a robot! Okay. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be angry at me, so... Cool. And this? Oh, I can sleep here. Okay. Okay, so the bar seemed like an okay place to be. And he was actually feeling a bit better after having eaten something, drank something. Oh, no. Wait, no. Okay, that thing's a bit freaky, huh? Alright. So, my question is, guys. How do we... Oh, <laughs> the game is a bit wonky with the mechanics. If you can look past that, it's a great game. But yeah, a few bugs will happen here and then. Just <laughs> be warned. Um, let's actually save the game real quick. There are some previous saves here, just ignore that. Let's see. Let's call this Gibbs. Chapter 1. Um, waking up. I might I might skip showing the saves in the future. It doesn't seem too 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 fun of a footage. But yeah. What can he do? Actually, within Kenji, there are a few things that you can do to make money at the beginning, from what I've learned. I mean, you can try and steal some stuff, you can try and kill some people, which is pretty high risk, especially not here. <laughs> um, you can try and loot some bodies that you find. This world basically develops around you. Um, you're not the center of it, you're a part of it. So there will be battles happening that you have nothing to do with, and then you just... You see some... You hear some battle sounds, or maybe just see a pile of dead bodies. There was a battle that was that happened nearby, but you just weren't a part of it. So yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty solid way of making money. Other than that, there's mining. And I think if you want to create like a, a base outside of the city, you could also get some farming going. Yeah. But all that, like outside of this, it just looks pretty high risk and low reward, low reward for me. I'm trying to keep Gibbs alive. <laughs> Alright, so Gibbs. Mining probably isn't his first choice. First of all, he's still feeling very, very sore from having thrown up and just trashing his body for months. But maybe, maybe you can find something of value. I mean, up here you can see that there are quite a few ruins around. Come to think of it. The bar is okay. Anything else? The walls, kind of. A big tower over there. Okay. Quite a lot of the city is in ruins. Wonder what happened here. But right. Oh, the robots again. Okay, just. Thought she wanted to go there. Creep me out a little bit. I mean, he's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, something. Actually, I was thinking that Gibbs had like a remnant from his childhood where he he felt fascinated with technology. He just never really had a chance to study. Um, you know, to get into that too much. So, 
that is still one of his interests. And actually, now that he's thinking about his options, he thinks that maybe he might be able to do some simple repairs or maybe salvage some stuff, maybe collect some items that he might see as useful. Because this was still a passion of, her, of his, and he had learned just a few things over the years. But yeah, so maybe some salvaging. He wasn't really sure. Okay, so this is a pretty big machine, I don't know what it does, looks like a crane. And there is like a windmill. Seems to be working. Um, I don't know, this would be considered stealing. This is a place to sleep later. Sleeping seems to be cheap enough. Let's actually go downstairs. Nope, don't steal the cooked, ve the cooked vegetables. Oh, the robot came down here. Or is it another one? I think it's the same. Yeah. Um, so he's feeling a bit better now. And... He might want to scavenge the ruins, see if there's anything useful in there. But at the same time, it's you know, a good, good idea to at least... more or less see where he is. Those looks like some traders. Nomads. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Goats. Goats! Where are your eyes? On the side? <laughs> We're goats. Okay. He's not so stiff anymore, but he's still pretty, feeling pretty rotten. Okay, what's out here? Let's take a look. By the way, I will always only try to look at what he could see, more or less. Okay, so, yep, it's the desert. Just as he expected. His memories from the last few weeks were in the desert, so it makes sense. It doesn't surprise him, but... Yeah, this area is very barren. Okay. Um, maybe from up there you can see a bit more. Let's see that they can actually just jog a little bit. Not that he wants to do it, but it's just good to have a good idea. <clears throat> quickly. He didn't survive in this world for a long while. Just with luck. He had an intuition. Okay, so he was pushing through the pain and trying to get an idea. What else could you see from here? Here he could look into one of the ruins. Looks like a bed. Oh, there's somebody in there. Okay, so people are sleeping in the woods. Let's see, maybe we can go down there again. Yeah, somebody's going into these ruins too. Okay. Actually, what kind of people are walking around here? We've seen at the bar some mercenaries, some trade ninjas. The mercenaries tend to be safer. When they're just looking for a job like that. Trade ninjas, she has an idea that they are... Well, they focus on trade. <laughs> um, let's see. Seems like a drifter, just like him. Who else? 
Oh yeah. I can control the camera separately, by the way. I don't need to be following him all the time, but this focuses us on him. Let's see. What is that? Another drifter. Quite a lot of people just passing by, I guess. Shinobi citizen. Okay. This is the yeah the windmill. You what are you? Oh, there was just a guy here, right? He's gone. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, we can't do anything here. I don't know what auto hall does, but <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Oh, let's focus on you again. Come on. You? What are you? Ex-servants. I think this is related to slavers. Yeah, there are a lot of factions in this game. You can actually become a slave. I don't know if, if that is an ex-slave. I don't know. Just some... Named NPCs. Okay, ruins... Another Shinobi citizen? You? Nay. Campfire, okay. Pretty close to that tower, what's here? Okay, these guys look a bit shady. Thief boss and ninja guard, shinobi thieves. So this looks like a thief's den. Shinobi citizen, shinobi thieves. This is actually a small community that exists here. Okay, there seems to be a lot of thieves, so the citizens are okay. Okay with the thieves, they're not antagonists, it seems like. Oh, what are you? You look cool. <clears throat> Just a drifter. Okay, so this is not what Gibbs is looking for in his new life, so he's not going to mingle with thieves. Ex servants. Okay, so looks like. Quite a lot of drifters, some thieves in that corner, maybe a bit dangerous. But they didn't seem to look for trouble with Gibbs. Not really sure how this society works. Can you? Oh. Okay, I think I already. Holy citizen. I can't afford that. <laughs> I don't know what's talking. Holy citizens. Okay. So I think I have an idea. Oh, this house looks nice. And it's a private house. So the door is closed, it's unlocked, but going inside there just doesn't seem like a good idea. By the way, all these houses, if you select it, you can see the type of house it is, and actually it can be bought, but not by Gibbs right now. <laughs> but yeah, all, all these houses can actually be bought, so this is a way of, you know, having a base in, a, in an NPC location, at least to start off. But you actually have a construction menu and you can build your own houses, just not here. You know, you would have to go somewhere in the middle of the wilderness. But yeah, that might be good to buy a house here eventually. The cheapest houses are, I think, 1,500. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Small shack. Alright, let's see. 
So I think I have an idea what the factions are around here. Maybe the thieves might be a bit of trouble, but... Okay. Doesn't seem like there is some immediate obvious danger. Um... Let's see. Actually, if you tab, you can um, highlight uh, what items are around here. And if they're white like this, it means that, you know, it's okay to take them. Uh, some of them will be red, and that's considered stealing. Okay, so let's say he goes through a few of these houses. Or at least, you know, walking around, seeing if you can find anything usable. There's a water jug. Okay. That will come in handy. What else? His inventory is looking like this right now. It's okay-ish, I guess. By the way, they eat by themselves, so I don't know why he isn't eating. He'll probably eat real soon. Um, okay, let's focus on him again. Okay, so people are going inside of those houses. I just wondering how safe it is to go into these places, but the beds up there are not free. So maybe finding another place to rest could be okay. This is a drifter, ex-servant. The ex-servants are not a lot of trouble, I think. Oh, there is a bed there. And yeah, you see, this is one is free. Um, another bed. Let's see which items are around. Just some empty bottles. Okay. So this seems to be a place with ex-servants, so it should be okay to rest here if, if I get a free bed. She's looking a bit... <laughs> okay, she's, she isn't looking at me. And the fires, we can actually use them... I mean, it says loot because it's not mine, but we can use them to, you know, cook meat. This is already dried meat, so we can't cook that. But yeah, nothing too useful here. What are you? So yeah, that really looks like ex-servants and drifters. It might be a good place to spend the night if I can pay for it up there. Oh. Nomads. Pack beasts. Okay, that looks cool. And some goats. <laughs> Alright. So let's see. Man, there are quite a lot of empty houses here. I mean, not empty, but... Ooh, in ruins. <coughs> let's see who's here. Free look kind of crazy. Yeah, Gibbs is not... Gibbs decided not to go there, he, she just looks a bit too crazy. Here? Somebody here? Nope. Just a lot of room bottles. Gibbs wasn't like an exception. There's a lot of drinking in this world. You'll, you'll see that this is a very harsh world, so it makes sense a lot of people are tempted. Okay, this is just trash, right? Nothing here. So is this again the crazy looking girl? Skate servants, okay. And you Ninja Soto. I mean, if, if the ex-servants are here, it should be okay-ish. 
think they're pretty safe. Huh. Nothing here, huh? Is this a path? Doesn't look like it. I mean, nothing of interest. Okay, um, it seems like the houses are a bit of a bust. I think. I mean, there's like, again, just... Oh, this is where it just was. Yeah. But at least people don't seem to be too aggressive. From what I know, ex-servants are normally... Not too, threat not too threatening, drifters neither, at least in, in this inside of the city. So yeah, I mean, let's say Gibbs can also have, has also that impression. So he knows of a place to at least rest up a bit without pain. Okay, well it's actually on this side. Okay, so... That's really cool looking, isn't it? By the way, this setting is actually sci-fi. A bit post-apocalyptic. But it's actually an alien world. It's it's not there. As you probably can see. But yeah. It's a bit of a wasteland altogether, I think. I, I don't know if there are any places that are very fertile, but I haven't seen any. I mean, I haven't played that much either. So yeah, around here... That seems a bit like a canyon, maybe? Game has a map. You can just say, no, this is... It's a map that Gibbs found in his pocket. He probably... oh, you see? He ate something. Um, probably got this map from somewhere, and it has a few scribbles here and there. There seems to be a lone shack there. Can we have a house there? What else? Is that, is that like a symbol or something? What? Can't the map... Get bigger? No? Okay. So yeah, the hub is the city where we are, and Squin is close by. But other than that, I mean, look at this map. It's huge. <laughs> this game has a huge map. That's one of the most interesting parts of the game, too. Um, but yeah, this is a desert region, kind of a river delta. This could see, this could be interesting to visit. And this seems like a uh, Marsh. This seems like a really weird marsh. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe these areas are a bit more fertile. Yeah, the ocean is quite a bit away, there's some ice. And this structure looks really interesting. I don't know what it is. But yeah, if we look at the hub, in this direction we have some canyons, so this is the direction of the camera. This is where we're looking at, which makes sense. That does look a bit like canyons. And... Like a valley around here. Other than that, just mountains. And I really can't see what the crap this is. Anyway. Uh... Okay, it's getting night. Oh! There's some people there, huh? Is this... yeah, that's what the symbol is. So there's definitely something there. Oh! Interesting. But probably not the risk I want to take. This game actually, it kills you pretty quickly. <laughs> I had to learn that the hard way. 
Uh, that does look interesting. I was thinking it looked like an alien. But actually, this means that it's a mine. But Gibbs is too far away to know that. Sorry, I had to adjust the volume a bit. Um, okay. So from all of this, Gibbs has learned a bit about the surroundings. The city seems to be safe fish. Okay, it's getting night, so probably we should not stay in the thieves area. We can talk to her. And quite a lot of NPCs, they don't talk to you uh, in the vanilla game. A mod I've installed makes more of them talk. Well, actually, I'll actually consider that uh, a lot of people don't want to talk with a stranger. Okay, so this is a place that seemed okay. him, an ex-servant, and it looks like another ex-servant, but with a unique name. Maybe I can rest a bit here? Why is he so hungry? Doesn't he have food? Yeah, he has a dried meat. <laughs> okay. So while we're in bed, I think everything just restores all the health points. Um, it's not here, but yeah, the hunger also goes down. So I guess if you want to skip the nights, you can stay here and just make time go faster. I guess let's do it like this, because he's sleeping, so... He doesn't really know what's around him. If somebody attacks, somebody attacks. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have to be sleeping, just resting. But you know, a bit drowsy. Just money is an issue, and why doesn't he eat? Just yo. Okay, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why? Just eat something, man. Maybe he's saving it because he doesn't have a lot. It might be reading too much into it. <laughs> I'm actually talking about game mechanics right now. Um, okay, so somebody bumped him out of his bed. But you know, spending the 50 just... And you barely have... When food costs so much. Maybe he can just rest up a bit in here. Okay, um, maybe we can say that this is the first episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first episode and my first Let's Play, so please excuse the clumsiness. But yeah, this was Guy, and yeah, any comments, I, I would be happy. You know, even feedback uh, with criticisms, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this game and I hope I can make a fun let's play out of it. Alright guys, till next time.